Shot in the back, eh? Yeah. Well, don't try to talk, Sheriff. wound. Stop bleeding, though. That's something. Ah, oh, you're gonna be all right. I'll have you in Starbuck before night. Just a swallow now. You can have more later. We got it. Are you hurt, miss? I don't think so. Are they coming? 
They're almost here. They mustn't take me. Really, they mustn't. Please don't let them. I'm not a bandit. Really, I'm not. You see... Hey, hey, this is the best place here, Elmer. Give me a push. Come on, come hey, you know, my neck. Don't you understand? It was our only way out. Won't you please help me? Well, I'll do what I can for you, miss. Your horse is done for. Well, you'll have to take mine. Hey, why don't you stay up hey, here? Them. I'll have your horse in town for you in an hour. You've got his horse, Bert. Yeah, too bad I didn't get the road agent. Well, he can't get far. We got him. We lost him. Yeah. You go that way. Come on, Bert. This ain't getting us nowhere. Dad! I got it! You got what? Where in the world have you been? Robert to it. I held up the stage and I got our money. You, you, you held up the stage? Why I oh, never. Don't get excited. It's all over and I'm safe. But I lost Prince. They shot him from under me. And if it hadn't been for a stranger lending me his horse, well, I guess I'd be in jail by now. A stranger? Well, well, who was he? I don't know. But he sure was swell. Hmm. I've got to change my clothes and get his horse back into town. I never heard of anything like that before in all my life. are sure late. I wonder if anything's happened. There she comes now.
Put down them irons. There ain't no passengers. Well, hand down the bag. You're late now. Mm, there ain't no bag. A masked rider held us up about two miles back. What'll the boss say? We can't help what he says. It ain't our fault. Well, we'll see you in town. All right. Get it. Well, Pete, we got stuck up again. Where did it happen? Down by Big Rock Canyon. What kind of a horse was he riding? A bay. Uh, we shot the horse, but the rider got away. We might trace the brand and find the owner. By George, we never thought to look at the brand. We'll ride up there and see what we can find. Oh, how do you do, Miss Denton? How's your father? Better, thank you. Oh, Pete, was there a package for me today? There was, but the stage was held up. Again? Where's the sheriff? He hasn't got back yet. You know, he went out to try and break up this road agent gang. We haven't been able to find him. Can I be of any assistance? Well, my horse and saddle were stolen last night. I thought maybe he might be able to help me find them. What color was your horse? He was a sort of a bay with a double O brand. Well, there was a horse of that description just shot. Oh, I hope it wasn't mine. If it was, Miss Denton. I'll bring your saddle to you. Thank you. Howdy, folks. Could you tell me where the sheriff is? Well, I take charge when he isn't here. Can I do anything for you? Thanks. I'll wait for him. The sheriff didn't care especially for this job. He might not come back. I'll take that chance. I have an idea he will come back. I don't like the way that fellow talks. We'll watch him. Meet me at the crossroads and I'll take you home. All right. That masked bandit story was on the square, huh? Yeah, he got us two miles ahead of the boys here. Well, he's afoot now. The only place he can get water is at Denton's or town. We may get him. Let's have a look at that horse. in the barn. It's a good idea. I reckon he's pretty dry. You were right here, Thursday. Come on, I want you to meet my dad. Why, sure, I'd be glad to. Saunders. I want to thank you, young feller, for what you've done for my daughter. Well, forget it, but uh, what's happened to you? Sit down. I'll tell you all about it. Thank you. You see, Faye and me own half interest in the mine at Yucca. Our 
partner sends us our share every couple of weeks. Sometimes it's only a few dollars. Other times it's a few hundred. He always writes us when to expect it. And almost always the stage was held up when the shipment came through. One day we discovered our letters were being opened. They knew just when the money was coming. So I decided to follow the stage. <laughs> I ran into the holdup and got a slug in my hip. Today, Faye thought she'd beat him to it. Hmm. That's when you happened into it. It's Kincaid with my saddle. Wait here. I'll get him on his way. Your horse, all right, Miss Denton. Here's your saddle. Thank you so much. Not at all. Bert, take it out to the barn. Oh, never mind, don't trouble. When your father's feeling better, I'd like to talk to him about buying your ranch. He's too ill to talk now. my regards. Thank you, I will. Hey, Chief. You know that Umbre what was looking for the sheriff? Yes. Well, his horse is in Denton's barn. I wonder what his game is. Well, whatever it is, we'll put a stop to it right here. You boys wait here. You've got to come along this road. Accidents will happen. I get you. <clears throat> what about the sheriff? Can he do something? It's mighty strange, but Bill Baxter's gone. He's the second sheriff to disappear in a year. He was a fine man and our friend. Well, why is Kincaid so anxious to buy your ranch? He's trying to buy up all the ranches. And he's offering the boys the ridiculous price of a dollar an acre. He owns the water rights to Lost Creek. You see, Lost Creek comes up and disappears on his land. He supplies the whole country hereabouts with water. That's why he's so independent. No one will fight him for fear he'll shut off their supply. I'm the only one who can talk back to him. I've got the only well in Antelope Valley. The boys are holding a meeting in town today. The men were getting a rotten deal. Forced to sell our land for nothing or no water. I'll fight for it. But he's got real gunmen. What about our families? Oh, you can't start a fight now. Give Washington a chance to answer our letter. They're bound to send somebody out here to investigate Baxter's disappearance. That's right. Well, let's wait until we see what he says when he learns we've decided not to sell. That's a good idea. idea. Well, I hope you'll be feeling better, Mr. Denton. Thank you. And I may accept that invitation of yours to stay here. We'd love to have you. We sure would, son. Well, thank you. Goodbye. They may have seen your horse at the barn. You'll be careful, won't you? I'll be back for dinner. Well, gentlemen, have you reached an agreement? Yes. We've decided you can go plumb to... Wait, Mason. Your proposition, Kincaid, is beyond all reason. We've worked years for these lands, and we don't intend to settle for a few measly dollars. That's your privilege. 
Don't forget, the state has needed me the right to the only water in this valley. I've spent hard-earned money for labor and dams, and I expect to get it back. You're getting it back, ain't you? We're paying you a big price for your water now. In three days, my contract to furnish you with water expires. You'll either sell at my price or pay four times the amount for water you're paying now. So settle it among yourselves. Here he comes now. Come on, get together. Now you boys are going for a nice little ride. Hello, Morgan. Glad you got here. Sit down. The trouble. Nothing right now, but anything might happen. I need protection. What's it worth? Same as before. There'll be blood a running in town before night. There'll be guns a blazing and singing with lead. Tonight you'll be drinking. Your drinks with the dead. Who's that? I don't know. Fine pair of lovebirds you turned out to be. Well, he's got what that means. Howdy, man. Hello, Howdy. All right. I'm looking for a Mr. Taylor. I'm Taylor. Found this letter a few miles back on the road. Must have been dropped in that last stagecoach holdup. Thanks. Boys, here's our answer from Washington. Good. Come on, Good. Let's hear it. Dear Mr. Taylor, in answer to your letter of May the 10th, please be advised that we are sending a man to investigate the situation you mentioned as soon as possible. Hey, I hey, 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 I hope he gets here soon. Now we'll show Mr. King Chang. Oh, glad to see you out, Mr. Denton. Yep, getting better every day. Say, uh, is that the old creek bed? Yeah. When 
I first come here was running water through every ranch in the valley. Mm -hmm. Then it dried up. That's when Kincaid got the upper hand. You can't divert a stream, can you? No, that's against the law. Mm -hmm. Well, those water contracts expire today at noon. I think I'll take a run in town and see what happens. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll be glad to hear about it. Gentlemen, it's noon. My contract with you has expired. Have you come to any decision? Kincaid, you've got the soul of a snake. We won't go into that. This is a business proposition. The law is on my side. Now, what have you decided to do? Just this. We are hanging on to our land, and we are not paying you your price for your water. That's right. right. <laughs> then take the consequences. Boys, turn off the water. Guard my dam. And if anyone sets foot on my land, shoot. Well, Kincaid may get more shooting than he's looking for. Just a minute, man. Just a minute. I'm sure Denton will give you all the water you can haul. Well, we may call on him for drinking water. But he can't supply enough for our stock and crops. No, no. If that man from Washington would only come. Well, yeah. if I heard somebody yeah. well, he's yeah. he's yeah. Time, we've got to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That sure was a good dinner. So glad you enjoyed it. Where do you taste them hot biscuits in the morning? Oh, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's crazy about hot biscuits. Well, who wouldn't be? <laughs> Gee, that was beautiful. Won't you sing the chorus again? That was mighty fine, son. Listen to that all night. I enjoyed that so much. Please sing another one. Remember what I told you. If anyone tries to get water, shoot. All right, boy.
All fixed up? Yep, he's full to the brim. Now, Mason, in case of trouble, keep on going. All right. I'll be right behind you. Keep your eyes open. It's time to be trouble. Oh, don't worry. We'll get to it. Virginia Dent. Dad, what are we going to do about Kincaid's ulcer? Well, Faye, I've decided we better stick with the boys and their families. You're right. You ride down and tell Kincaid that we ain't selling. I sure will. They're getting more water from Denton. I expected that. I've got my men posted and they'll never get through. Besides, I've made Denton an offer he can't refuse. I'll own his place before night. Here he comes. Saunders drove the wagon. Saunders, huh? Slip, when I give you the signal, you come down the middle of the street. I'm ordering this Saunders out of town. And he may be just fool enough to fight it out with you. I'll be ready for him. I tell you, men, this has got to stop. Your cattle's are dying. Your crops are withering. You're fighting a hopeless fight. Kincaid's got the law behind him. Sign up and take your licking. Sign up and stop 
there's bloodshed. <laughs> Saunders, you've interfered in my business once too often. Now I'm giving you just one minute to get out of town. What's the trouble? Well, it's going to be a shooting. Place up your guns, outlaw, and cinch them on tight. There'll be blood a running in town before night. There'll be guns a blazing and singing with light. Why, that's singing Sandy. Tonight you'll be drinking. Hmm? The most notorious gunman since Billy the Kid. The dead. Make it fast, Slippery. This is your last draw. You'll never handle guns again, Morgan. You better get him over to the doctor. Well, Saunders, I guess you win. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure, I'll talk to you. Hey, you. He's singing Sandy, I tell you. I saw him do the same thing down on the border. Is he a killer? Well, he's got a reputation from here to Kentucky. I need you, and I'll pay your price. What's the job? Protecting me and my interests. The law's on my side. But the sheriff's gone, and these ranchers may start trouble. I need a gunman. Fair enough. I'll take the job. Now, how about these Denton? I've made them an offer they can't refuse. Well, why pay them anything? Just drop a charge of dynamite down their well and collapse it. They'll have no water, and then, like the rest of the ranchers, they'll have to sell out for nothing. That's an idea. Send in the boy. I knew very well that it would happen if it was taken out of the hand. I'd like to talk to you ranchers confidentially. Why, certainly, Mr. Saunders. What is it? Now listen, boys. Saunders is working with us now. So let bygones be bygones. We're going to blow up Denton's well. And I want you to get enough dynamite to collapse it for good. If what you say is true, Saunders, we'll owe you a lot. Well, it's a long camp, but I say take it. Well, we were going to sign the contracts anyway, so we'll insist on that clause. Good. Well, I think that boy's got a mighty good idea. Good. The boy's ready? I'll go along and watch old Denton. 
Now it'll take a big charge. I, I'll get enough to blow it to China. Good. Ready to sign, Kincaid, providing you are willing to insert a new clause in our contract. What is it? That if you should fail at any time during the life of our contract to provide us with water, your water rights and lands become community property. Sure, I'll agree to that. Come on in. That's Bill Baxter's star. Maybe he killed the sheriff. And when I get inside, you boys let her go. Now let's do this job right. Hmm, leave it out. Kincaid. I know you did. I heard everything you said. Well, that must have been interesting. We know who you are, Mr. Singing Sandy. You may be a killer and do away with sheriffs, but you ain't never going to blow up my well. That's one job we did, right? Yeah, we opened up the whole Pacific Ocean. <laughs> we better clear out of here before Kincaid catches up with us. <laughs> Tomorrow, Kincaid's dam will be nothing but a mud hole. Your well was the headwaters of Lost Creek. Yeah, but Bill Baxter's badge. Oh, he made a deputy of me, not knowing who I was. He'll be here today. Well, who are you? 
I'm called Sandy, all right, but I was sent here by Washington. You can ride, Dad. Come on, let's get in on the fun. Saunders here saved my life.
Jim Cade and one of his gunmen followed me. When they got their chance, they plugged me in the back. But you all know who he no. was. No! Why, he's in the Secret Service. He's your man from Washington. No! no. I suppose you're leaving us. Yep. I'm going to Yucca to send a wire. Oh. Son, we all make mistakes. And I know somebody that's taking her mighty serious. You suppose you could uh, go in and tell her you like her biscuits or something to cheer her up a bit? I'm going to tell her more than that, Dad. Going away, aren't you? Yes. I I don't want you to. But I'll be back for supper. That is if you bake me about a hundred biscuits. 